Welcome back to uh, to Fate in the Blue Water Inn, having a good time. You are um, <laughs> drinking. If you want some wolf steak, you can have some. It's probably mm. pretty good. Uh, wolf steak. Have one. Where's that inn in are town? We, Which are we coming is in? It? it is N2. N2? It's in the middle of town, like right in the, the, the middle of town. Oh, there's a little map of town. And he, he, that's cool, like a pointer. Like Pointing it. with the two on it. <laughs> you are here. I like it. So at what point during the conversation do we come okay, back? Okay, so um, as as he... It doesn't take too long to like drop him off and buy the creepy fucking toys. Would you walk into the... <laughs> yes, yeah. I do. Uh, I have the puppet on my fucking arm. That's <laughs> the strad fucking... Terrifying. <laughs> All right, so you walk in as he is offering them the free room and board with the um, sort of quest to go look at Look into the latest delivery of wine from the Wizard of Wines winery. All right. Well, uh, as I hear him saying <laughs> that, I'll walk up to the bar, sit down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, I walk up to the bar, sit down, put my candle like right in front of me, and say, "Well, first drinks for us," and then strike, start bantering put, with the candle. Your candle? Yeah, the one that I wear all the oh, time. Oh, you start bantering. Okay, got it. You carry a okay. candle? Yeah, it's a little yeah. like he, lantern. It has a black candle with a green flame on it. That's what I'm going to say green when you flame. walk in. Yeah. You carry uh, a candle. I'll set down. <laughs> yeah, this is my brother's. Uh, okay. Why? He, uh, it's Strahd. Uh, that's a fucking candle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Since Boris knows... It's, it's, it's been Irwin burning right for as long like, as I've been here. Since Irwin knows Boris. It's like, Boris! <laughs> Hello! Oh. <laughs> Take a drink of ale or about mom while you do it and start talking with the bitch like this. You. You've been to Blinsky's. <laughs> uh, that man frightens me. <laughs> he makes the creepiest toys. I know, it's wonderful! Uh, um. <laughs> No Dude, one in town is amused. That's like no one amazing. in, oh in this tavern is amused by your strawed puppet, <laughs> by the devil strawed puppet. Uh, uh, Imps is quite amused. Yeah, I even, I even told him. I was like, "Dude, that's fucking what amazing. Is going on? That's, that, what is going on? <laughs> Why did you buy it? It was funny. No, and I hit Strad. Curse his name. Cheers. <laughs> Which cup? <laughs> oh, I think it's going to be my every time it's in. Don't who, name the dark one. He, he must not be named. Oh, man. <coughs> okay. I'm going to put the puppet away after at least about... I'm going to give it a good ten minutes of just, like, fucking around with the puppet. Right, right. <laughs> Um. Doesn't hear the decency to go find a room. Is anything weird going to gonna happen if we just like hang out the bar and be okay, people at the that's, bar? Okay, that's that's a great question. Let me just give me a second. Or go to bed at tap room super early. Okay. No, I totally. Yeah, we're hanging out. I tried. Oh, I actually. You said you were play I music, said. Right? I did say I just want to play music, and I said I get to pers I want to like wow, that guy's talking, look around, and see what types of people I might be able to like. Okay. Like persuade into your. Bed Whenever he starts playing, yeah. I'm gonna bring out right. my violin yeah. and play with him. Cool. Um, da oh, you'll like it. Damp good, cloaks good hang stuff. from pegs in the entrance portico. Taverners packed with tables and chairs. Uh, the narrow paths meandering between them. A bar stretches along one wall, which you've already been to, of course. Under a balcony that can be reached by a wooden staircase that hugs the north wall. Another balcony overhangs an entrance to the east. All the windows are fitted with thick shutters and crossbars. Lanterns hanging above the bar and resting on the tables bathe the room in dull orange light and cast shadows upon the walls, most of which are adorned with wolf heads mounted on wooden plaques. This whole town is fucking creepy. Yes. They don't care much for wolves. <laughs> uh, Obviously, they're serving wolf steak with wolves, wolf heads on the bars. And there's and mounted the wolf heads up yeah. by the front of town. Now, um, <laughs> oh, Danica Martikov, who Whoa, is Danica. Irwin's wife, oh. uh, is it's going to be the one that primarily tends bar. And she hot? he, uh, 
Probably not. Damn it. <laughs> we'll say no in this case. I always have everyone be hot, but no. She's not really that attractive. <laughs> More hot lady. She, she's, uh, got, she's got a hairy she's mole. Totally she's got a hairy mole. She's <laughs> home. Like, 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 she's not hideous, per se. But she's not, like, super hot. She's, like, homely. Like, uh, like Rosie Cotton in the, in the Lord of the Rings. Okay. Like, not super hot, but, you know, okay. Um... After I he, go on an He is actually to going Mordor. to go up the stairs and prepare the baths while you guys are doing your thing. Uh, kind of kind of relaxing and chilling. Give me, let's see, the, uh, let's see how many people there are meandering in the tavern. 18. There are about six, um, six local patrons. Here, um, and then as as the day progresses, of course, it builds up to where there's about sixteen to twenty people in the tap room. Uh, give me okay. So before that happens, though, there is time for baths, so you can go do that. Probably not all at the same time, but. <laughs> Um, well, me and us just been always paid together. You take we turns. really do. We throw each other into the, the well, bathtub. There are multiple baths, bad, so you could go two at a time, but like, um, there's not enough for everyone to have a bath at the same time. So, you wouldn't really necessarily need one unless you just wanted one. I was locked up in a tower and I've been sweating all day. True. Everybody, we got mud butt. <laughs> by, <laughs> by the time so everyone's done and cleaned up, What's you know, you cleaned your armor. All that jazz. Uh, After an hour it, of waking, it's pretty up. late yeah. into the night. Whatever that is. And so, so, I'll, so I'll try to there are a lot of people in one. the tap room. Okay, there we go. Give there me. Go. It's a bath, though. I don't know. If I Perception. Can... Anyone that is sort of looking out. Looking out of what? The crowd? Uh, you're at the bar. Twenty-seven. Just like at the bar. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I got Damn, a like double expertise. So I'm actually not at the bar, and I'm. I'm not look. I'm actually not looking at the bar. No. You're just playing. Twenty. Music. I would not be. I'm just just hanging out. Nagger's asleep. No, yeah. I'm always yeah, twenty. <laughs> yeah, Nagger is asleep. Cool. That's fine. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go up to Nagger again and give him a. Sh <laughs> I'm gonna give him a <laughs> shot <laughs> of uh, some Death Dancer. You can't get that here. They don't make that here. I have it. Oh, that. you have it. <laughs> the Boda bag. The Boda bag. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, I'm just going to give him a death dancer. And, and he uh, just conks the fuck out. He's, he's not going to pass that. <laughs> that is funny. Now, 27. What are the other numbers? 27, 22. Oh, I, Inch, 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 Inch and are just chilling. They ain't rolling. Okay. And you got a 20. About. Yeah, I had a 20. Okay, 20. Got it. So you're like some of you play music, some of you just don't give a shit, and they're just having a good time drinking, <laughs> having, have, having a great time. You see, I got a six, 21 of my performance check. Um, two. Don't worry. They two sets it. of two people, so four people, I guess, uh, that are of particular interest. There's a group of people that are in like hides. They have longbows and arrows and stuff. Um, oh, one one of them is, is bald. Druid. Has a pretty, pretty thick beard. And then the other one has kind of uh, strider-like hair, like from, from yep. the, like long and kind of oily. Uh, but they they so are wearing Aragorn. hides, kind of like Aragorn, like <laughs> pre-king mode. Um, <laughs> before use condition, and then and before shampoo. <laughs> right, right. The other two that you see are uh, dressed very well. They are um, exceedingly drunk, and your kind of people are kind of. I mean, I'm not even paying attention. Uh, they like to pick fights with like other commoners or with commoners. They're not commoners. All the but they are here, <laughs> having a good time. Let's see them. <gasps> oh, yeah, there now. is one more. The the lone guest of the Blue Water Inn, uh, outside of you guys, of course, is a colorfully dressed half elf bard who goes by the name of Rictavio. 
Rictavio. Rictavio. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. They call uh, Rick Taz. What is it? Oh. And he is telling crazy stories. He starts to tell like crazy stories about uh, like so, stories so outrageous that they hardly believe or believable. And he keeps asserting that they're true. Uh, claims to be he claims to be a carnival ringmaster from a distant land. We'll play all that. Cause it's fucking crazy. Uh, he's been staying at the inn. He does mention because you know this is a long night around talking to people, yep. socializing, if you're into that, or just drinking, and... Mm -hmm. Playing violin, why not? Yep, yep. Um, he's been there for about a month, taking advantage of Erwin generosity and good nature. Not, like, taking advantage of it, you know. Yeah. Not, not being a douche, per se. Uh, when he arrived... Does he, like... Oh, okay. Does he like Rictavio is the guy that gave uh, Gadolf the monkey Piccolo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was his monkey originally when he gave it. Yeah, because he needs it. <laughs> or, yeah, because it doesn't make him any less creepy. Yeah. <laughs> um, curious, just random question before you go on there. Do I see anybody dicing? I would say that the answer to that is uh, yes. There is a table kind of off to the side that is like they are dicing. Yes. I might go gamble with them at some point. Oh, God okay. damn it. I love gambling too. Toy maker is monkey, blah blah blah. Apples are four. Uh, oh, I'm worried about that. I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to catch up on, on this, so just give me one second. No, it's really the only two. Now, either of these groups, um, as as you sort of meander about and talk to some folks, maybe not approaching them directly unless you want to, uh, you find out that the two noble guys are uh, Nikolai and Carl Watcher. They are um, of noble birth. Their mother is Fiona Watcher, who is an influential figure in town. But her son's never really talked about her. Like, you, you, you hear that from other patrons there. Uh, I want to make your role investigate because some of them are chatty, some of them are not. You know, find the right ones for gathering information. I'm a spy, I listen to everybody. The hunters are uh, Shuldar Shuldarovic and Yevgeny Krushkin. Uh, local hunters. Wow. Local hunters. I really went with the right direction with Russia. Yeah, you really did. <laughs> Local hunters who kill wolves and sell them for, you know, making their Until they actually find out they're Polish. And we're just their work is dangerously <laughs> really fused. And they have, like, they have really, uh, much like the other patrons, they all seem to have, like, <laughs> haunted looks. <laughs> That's the death dancer for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to in the back. You should go crash on the couch, man. The couch is super comfy. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. You won't die. Go crash on the couch. Yeah, do you take a nap? Like, that, that can't possibly be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he's actually just waiting for the time Nagri needs to do something. Just wake up, yeah. Elder Swest! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, seriously, if you want to lay down on the couch, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and lay down. Yeah. <laughs> you, Terrell, you would actually know, I think, you would know the Wolf Hunters. And you would probably yeah. know of the Watcher Brothers. I would know the Watcher Brothers. Yeah, but like you probably wouldn't mess with them or deal with them too and much. And have I seen this uh, bard around before? Give me a history this check. That's good Nope. Twelve. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna roll anything. Uh, just assume it's a twelve. Actually, I'm gonna see what happens. Nope. nope. It was... It was a 
an yeah, aid. It's super comfy. Oh, damn, you did good. Catch a few Z. Good history check. That we're not paying attention. Twelve. <laughs> was it actually a twelve? You, it was actually that's a twelve. A fucking 12. <laughs> you you would have you no idea bad. of yeah. any of this stuff. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just here um, to drink beer and smash Rick pussies. Tabio, you know, smash smash pushies. That's correct. <laughs> and I'm all out of beer. Mm. <laughs> Not much. I don't think you would know this. You should actually. Have I ever seen like because you just pick up one? You were like yeah. super old. Smash yeah. pushies. So but I'm I won't give advantage on this. History roll. Or the one. <laughs> okay, it's still twelve. Twelve it is. He but actually forgot what, oh, what, yeah. what what things happened. Yeah. Mm. How old is your character? He might be like almost three hundred. It's like wow. senile. Give me, give me insight. <laughs> insight. I was gonna roll I insight on anyway that. for yeah, just lying it. shit. Do it. So eleven. I seriously not take insight. Fuck seven. <laughs> hey, that's good. I mean, roll really 11. well on your well, you know, no. combat, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, yeah that's all okay. that. All this dice roller. I don't know that he, he literally took the most uncomfortable way to sit Yeah, so you don't actually know that much about Rick Yeah, I've seen him. You've nope. seen him around care. before. Yeah. But you haven't really I mean, he gets paid attention. Army, everyone, dealt with him so enough that you would know what's going on. Or floor. The wolf hunters <laughs> are not sleep because it's three. By the way, of, they are dour. Or, or, like, yeah. If you gotta to talk to them, game. they're real. They're dicks. They're blunt to the point, and they don't really uh, want to talk. Don't really want to talk. Um, although they do mention in their in what they do say that they can be hired as guides. Uh, for five gold per day, or to provide directions to important landmarks in exchange and for free so drinks. Gold. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Drinks for everyone. Cool. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Um. Well, I don't think much is going to happen then. Someone just this goddamn crow's <laughs> out. Why are they inside? I'm sorry. Why, why are there crows <laughs> inside? They're not actually. Um, they have purse on the outside, <laughs> but they're, they're right just, outside, and they all just saw something. Okay. Die. So since uh, there's not really anything to do no, here, they're, they're I'm gonna go dice women. Um, they do actually. Okay, fair enough. They do ask you for those of you that are interested and go talk to the Washer Brothers. They are interested in listening to tales of your adventures. If you wanted to do that, uh, I'd like to ask around and figure out who the highest ranking lady in this town <laughs> is, who's also attractive. I mean, I've just been trying to find a pretty girl. I guess. That's all I do. Um, but, but I do hopefully notice this gambling table real quick. You will. Uh, you will. That sounds fun. Because I have proficiency with gaming dice, and I can run a three dragon anti game. I just want to uh, um, just dice. screw people. I want to get the... Where is dragon? Deck. Where is dragon? You tell okay. me where dragon is, you so, get money. Fiona, uh, give me an oh, some investigation check. Oh, going on. <laughs> gotcha. Bob. Yeah. Um, the only, <laughs> the only influential woman really here, there, there's Fiona Watcher, who is not attractive. Okay, we're gonna skip her. She's, she's scary. I mean, there's a picture of her right here. Yep. yep. See hear that sound? See the mustache and the beard? <laughs> no. Ooh. No. Can, can, can She's Eisen, just old. Eisen, Eisen Schmidt see? Yeah. She's just old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd do her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just um, clear. Uh, uh, I don't think don't that. just start howling when she walks by. There's really so there's goddamn <laughs> crows outside. <laughs> there are, okay. okay. So there are a few no. attractive um Barmaids? Yeah. Keep but, going lunches. <laughs> <laughs> you actually start to notice. Well, probably not him, because he doesn't. You know. He doesn't notice things. Because he's in. <laughs> um, but you do kind of start to notice that there are some people that are in town. Even like walking through the town, there are some people in the town that are 
different. Like, they don't really show any emotion at all. Ever. They just look dead. They just look like almost zombie like walking around town. It's a really strange thing. Um, it's 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 actually it's almost imperceptible at first, but once you notice it, it's like everywhere. It's super obvious because everyone else seems more vibrant and they can do facial expressions and everything. And some of them are just the same expression. All the like same so one yeah. blank expression. Yeah. Strange thing. Well, is, is there any way you could? I'm not from here, so history check. You could ask me, or me, or anything. Is that is is that from like the the dream pies? Is that is that a side effect of of maybe some dream pie? Like they've had too many, or really? or sort of sort of thing like that. Would this be history or insight? Mm. I mean, it's gonna suck for me either way. Is this medicine? That's gonna suck for me as well. Okay. Oh wow, there's actually something Whatever called medicine. medicine. I've never seen a medicine check be made in this campaign since we've done this. No one's ever made a medicine. Most people just use healing. It's spell. gonna be a 17 yeah. in any any of those categories. 17 not bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nor animal handling. Fucking true. Anyone else want to give that a roll? I can give it a roll. I have a little letter. As to what they might be able to discern. Nat, Nat 20. 20. Terrell! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know this. For a while. One, because you've been here a fuck... T Way loads, too much time. Fuck loads of time. Way too much time. Um, and don't care about it all anymore. And Destroyed. because... Yeah. Okay, so this plane... What happens frequently is... Some people are born without souls. And that's and them. And because of that, they can't really emote. They can barely speak. Um, but they just operate. Yeah, they just exist, essentially. Um, but they're, there's almost, like, it's, let me rephrase it. It's not necessarily that they can't emote, but they can't, it's it's primarily fear yeah. that they emote. That's all. Uh, so some folks just don't have souls. Yep. Cool. And oh, when people die here, because they can be born with souls, but usually, like when yeah. people die here, this plane, in terms of my world, is like a. Uh, Almost like a disruption of the veil, because the souls that die here are trapped here, and so it's really kind of it's fucked. It's crazy. Yeah. So they they stay there. Do they become those people? They're part of Strahd. Well, um, that part's unclear. Okay. It's it's. Well, not, I'm just explaining this whole story to him. Really I well, guess. right. We won't have you repeat yeah. the same thing, yeah. um, but you you kind of sit everyone down and, and explain the situation. How much of an cool. asshole Strahd is? Oz and Smith. Give us his name. We said we found a sexy young barmaid and make a Van Richten's tower. And, and they don't even have souls, so it should be pretty easy now. <laughs> pretty easy. Wow. <laughs> Y'all are awful. <laughs> No, we just, I got some dream cakes we can slip them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> a couple of them. Which will make them euphoric. I'm sorry, it's too much. And then we say, <laughs> then we <laughs> high five, and we jump in the air. And it's Ben Rickton's it tower. Freezes. That's, that's the time, <laughs> the time stops. That <laughs> is really messed up. The the but episode. really, outside of that, <laughs> there's not a, a whole Rickton's lot of, uh, of Have we gone too far? Together. Right cliffhanger. Brahms of Blue Water. Did they or didn't they? they did. <laughs> the only other thing <laughs> that would be well, a episode relevant twenty five, yeah, that's probably now. Because <laughs> um, you you've really primarily only been in the tap room. Yep. And upstairs to take to clean up. And Van Richten Tower, the barmaids. Smith <laughs> 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 nah, we're we're doing it. Performance I'm just gonna checks. go dice. Van Richten Tower? <laughs> it's like <funny. laughs> 
like Eiffel Tower, but the main Eiffel Tower. Oh. I, I felt I had to make it specific <laughs> okay. to the area. Where I got it. it. I got it. I got you. I was like, that name. I read that name recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking crazy. All right. Um, I guess that would be some persuasion-related checks if you're trying to get some. It's okay. It's yeah, I'm way. totally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, oh. let, I'll let this man do it. He's, he's the... 22. 22. The, Damn, that's actually better than my persuasion. 5-1. 5-1. I got a plus 11. All right. That's uh, uh, 14 plus Damn. 9 in enough to be 22. Uh, so... Van Richten Tower. <laughs> All right. Van Richten Tower. <laughs> now, can we, we go upstairs? We have a. Uh, we're having a good time. Now, this time. is toward the end of the night. And everyone's going to go to bed. Uh, how much money have I made dicing? Because I've been oh, dicing this uh, whole time. Give, give me. Because I've got dicing. I've got dicing as a gaming set for. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a couple good questions job, associated now. with that. Are you pickpocketing <laughs> as well while you're doing that? Are you like how are you doing that? Like how how only how? if the nobles start dicing with me do I pickpocket. Okay. Okay. Because I don't like nobles. Got it. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so give me a D twenty. Three. Okay, so you're Wait, down. Higher? Give me uh, <laughs> Let's do another d20. We're going to do like a couple of, of, of rolls here. Five. Oh, wow. All right. I'm tired. Also <laughs> down. So much money. Okay. Another one. Fourteen. Oh, kind of. Plus my proficiency yeah. bonus. Uh, sure. Because I'm proficient with dicing. Okay, so that'd be eighteen. Eighteen. No, no. Luck. Yeah. Fucking luck. Right. <laughs> uh, so that's two bad rolls and one good roll so you do end up losing I would say about because they don't gamble with a lot uh, probably a gold piece so do the nobles ever come over to start no they do not so once I'm done losing money I'm just gonna start <laughs> up a, a three dragon anti game which is pretty much three card Monty find the lady find the lady mm -hmm. see if I can entice anybody to come over to me with a persuasion check. All right, give me a persuasion check. Finally, tw uh, yeah, that'd be twenty. Cause I got plus eleven. Very nice. <laughs> Persuasion's a really good skill. I like it a lot. Mm. Okay. Wow. And you're losing higher than ten. <laughs> find the dragon. Ooh. Find the dragon. <laughs> you find the dragon, you get money. It's a bold move to um, show the people in the town where they know who your name. <laughs> <laughs> they know a name. They think I'm Boris. Well, <laughs> they know your face. Well, not I'm your, disguised like, right I now. Know, I know. I mean, so like, <laughs> they know that. I'll make you, sure to put that you, in the you notebook. play the enough tower. to like to break even. <laughs> okay. And so I make one goal. <laughs> right. Dude, like these people are poor as fuck. True. So like, yeah, you freaking you uh, you you um you get to that point. And then, like, Erwin's done up there, and he comes down, and he's like, Boris, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> just show, just like with one gold piece tucked into my sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's just... like it's a bunch of copper and, and <laughs> silver, like. Just jing my arms jingle. <laughs> yeah. Because I've shoved it all up my now. sleeves. Eventually, everyone goes to bed. Or meditates, if that's your thing. Trancy stuff. Gonna make a nest out of my bed clothes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have a dream. Oh boy, I like dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. Inch like pretty pictures. <laughs> um, you, you see yourself. So, this is after the tower? <laughs> after yes. the Van Richten Tower. This is after the tower. Yes. I think you should get a performance roll on uh, <laughs> how bad his dream is. <laughs> or how good no, we did. Like, this, is, <laughs> this is a scripted dream. Damn it. I'm just dreaming. And <laughs> you see before you a Baylor. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's, and that's, you're holding in your hand yeah. Yeah. 
you'll sweat. <laughs> and you hear whispers in your mind. And you see flashes of... So it sounds like when I'm snoring. Of, uh, like, shredded labors, shredded demons, shredded undead, shredded monstrosities. Like... All the dead things. All of the unnatural mm -hmm. shit. Right? Mm -hmm. You just see behind you, because when you you turn and look behind you, and there's just a swath, a huge full field, army, full of dead, I evil shit. And then there's and a for you. You hear your swag whisper. Lord. What do you do? Uh, well, I, of course, go fucking balls deep at the bail. We're like, yeah, that's, <laughs> what else do I get to? It's him. There's a big motherfucker in front of him. Little swags. Yeah, I get him on. He's gonna go for it. Alright. Um, give me... And we're gonna say that you're frenzied rage. Okay. So attack give roll. me three, three attack rolls. Cool. Uh, An interactive dream. Interesting. <laughs> uh, blues. Can I reckless attack? I will allow that, yes. All right. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> Amy, don't die in your dream, you know what they say. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't die in my dream. <laughs> that would suck. Alright, one attack roll. It's going to be a 28 or a 29. Second attack roll. going to be a 1, so let's roll better than that. Or 25. <laughs> yeah. Third attack roll. Another 1. <laughs> or... A one. Shit! God damn it! <laughs> I don't know three fucking ones and six fucking dice. Alright, two attacks are successful. One Your first two are a, successful. Right, we good. will get right back to that in the next scene. Shit! Night <laughs>